five. Uh, I'll offer a prayer, then I'll introduce some of my peers and let them bring greetings from their respective tribes. Uche Wanato, Cheske de Kingwak, Wojiwa Wamanana. Great Spirit, loving Father of all nations, we come to you, dear Lord, today, acknowledging your love, your mercy, and your grace. We pray your we pray your blessings on this gathering today. We pray your blessings on the initiatives that we have in the health services to improve the quality of life and health within the native community. And Father, we thank you for those who took time out of their schedules to be here today as we provide insights and glimpses and, and just a little look at what we're doing with Indian Health Services and as we display these mobile units uh, that are here today. So Father, we thank you love you, and we seek your continued blessings on our endeavors. In the Son, Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen. Amen. It is my distinct pleasure to introduce you to Chief Frank Adams, Upper Mattapanai Tribe, and he will bring us reading from the Upper Mattapanai. Yeah, thank you, Chief. Uh, like Chief Steve said, I am Frank Adams, the Upper Mattapanai Tribe, over in King William County, which is only about 30 minutes away, and it's really exciting to be involved and to see these trucks and to meet everybody that's uh, dealing with the health and welfare of the uh, Upper Mattapanai tribal citizens as well as the other tribes in the state. Chief Gray of the Pamunkey Tribe. Uh, Bob Gray from Pamunkey Tribe. It's a privilege to be here. This is just awesome seeing what uh, the health service is bringing here to Virginia natives. I uh, look forward to continuing to work with them. And Chief Stewart. Eastern Chickahominy. Jerry Stewart, Chief of the Eastern Chickahominy Tribe. We are located in New Kent County. Uh, we're about 15 minutes from here. Uh, appreciate everything that IHS is doing for us. And it just looks like we're going to have a great working relationship. So thank you for all that you do. And with that, I yield to my dear friend, Dr. Vicki Claymore. Where are you? Hi. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, welcome everybody. Um, I am Dr. Vicki Claymore. I'm the Director of Field Operations in the Nashville Area Office. So I am so excited to have been able to drive in today to see the, the mobile units. Um, and uh, I am just honored to be here. Uh, thank you to the tribal leaders for all of your work in planning and developing this. The dignitaries, the, the community members, um, and definitely to the staff to the CEO and the staff that have worked so hard to be able to present these today. Um, I was just talking and, and met you and Chief Gray when we were first meeting back there when you first were federally recognized for Pamunkey and then when uh, the other six came on, we knew that there had to be kind of an inno innovative way to do healthcare for this area. There, you know, each tribe has its own unique pieces and culture and history and the distance that are around here with the geographic. How are we going to pull together to develop, you know, pull the resources to make sure that we have the services and the access to care. So from starting out with purchase and referred care programs so we could have a little bit of access to the PRC team, we're working with developed vendors who are going to work with us. Um, vaccination clinics that were out in the community, I got to go out and that was innovative. We didn't have a health center. We still knew that those vaccinations had to get out there um, to uh, groundbreaking with the new facilities that were built with the culture in mind to see what is going to be something so fabulous that we're so proud of and we can get care for our family and our community members uh, to the mobile unit which are going to be both serve both purposes that transition piece as we develop the health centers uh, so we can get some care out there as well as continuing to be in the community to develop some primary care the dental services that we so need and of course um, the behavioral health, both mental health and substance abuse. And so I, like I said, I'm just so honored to be here. And I love to introduce our CEO, Kara Kearns, and she can give you more information about all the hard work and the staff and the vision to come. So thank you. Welcome. I'm so honored to have you all here today. It just, it just fills my heart to see such a wonderful gathering here. Chiefs, thank you so very much for and for all of the tribal leaders that have been so incredibly supportive of us, I think we have we genuinely made a formidable career uh, to be able to conquer this healthcare system, which 
challenge that's been provided to us. You know, one of the uh, one of the goals of Indian Health Service is to be able to provide comprehensive and culturally aware and uh, uh, culturally sensitive healthcare to our Native American communities. But the big piece of that revolves around accessibility and availability. And we really thought hard about how that availability would fit into this model. And Mid-Atlantic Service Unit serves seven tribes. One of them is the Monica Indian Nation that's a couple of hours to our west, but all of the rest of those tribes are here on this eastern side of the state. We knew that making uh, availability was key in establishing a clinic on that side of the state, but it was also very important that we have one here that would be centralized for these tribes. And so you are standing on the location that will be the new tribal health center. We're very, very happy about that. And you know, as we were thinking about this and doing all the planning, we acknowledge that there's always going to be barriers to healthcare. And you think in this wonderfully digitized, socially networked, modern age, that healthcare would not be a challenge for a lot of people to, to have access to. But it is, and we have to really address that accessibility issue along with the availability. These amazing mobile units will deploy into our tribal communities that are away from this particular spot here and bring the totality of that healthcare system together. And we're doing that to answer that question of how can we overcome those barriers and how can we actually integrate all of this and create a healthcare system that's just going to be nothing but beneficial to our tribal community and to help make this for proud of us. And increasing health outcomes is certainly always the goal, and I think this is just one step further to being able to do that. Thank you all so much for being here today. Thank you all for the generous support along the way. And I do want to acknowledge that we do have um, some of our elected officials here. Chief, would you mind doing that action? Thank you. I'd like to introduce uh, Bill Coulter, who represents my district. Board of Supervisors, and I'd like to uh, acknowledge our county administrator, Ms. Hill Johnson, and the Chief of Emergency Operations, uh, Jimmy Johnson. So I'm sure we will be reaching out to you for some, some guidance as we go through our emergency preparedness. And before I yield to Mr. Coda, I'd like to ask my first assistant chief, Wayne Atkins, to come forward. I failed to acknowledge him earlier, but he is. Uh, First Assistant Chief of the Chickahominy Tribe, so uh, I just wanted to understand with us. But Bill Coulter has, has been a friend and an ally to the Chickahominy Tribe, as well as to the citizens of Charles City County at large. And then Michelle Johnson comes on board, and we're just kindred spirits. We kind of think alike in a lot of ways, so uh, I just want to lift that up because we have an exemplary relationship with the leadership in Charles City County. And, and we worked together well. Uh, Michelle and I went to some meetings where other tribes talked about the, the adversarial relationship they had with their board of supervisors. That doesn't exist here. Uh, so, Bill, I, I appreciate your leadership. Bill Coda has served for many years. He also has a has a business in the county that uh, he provides service to lots of us and always has a friendly smile. And a strong opinion, uh, whatever comes up. But with that, Bill Coda, bring greetings from the county. He told me I had 30 seconds. <laughs> and there's no way I could ever say anything in 30 seconds, especially when it comes to something that I value so much. And, and that is the tribe. Uh, I want to send regrets first off for my two colleagues, Mr. Gilbert Smith, uh, and also for Byron Atkins. They wanted to be here today, and they could not be here. But the relationship that the county has with the tribe has been so beneficial to the county as a whole as witnessed right here today because what's going on right here today will benefit this community in, we can't even measure it and now the clinic that they're talking about building you know if it did nothing its entire existence but serve the tribe that relieves the other services to help the other citizens of the You've always been innovative. I've heard that word innovative here today, and nobody is as innovative as you in getting things done. And since uh, you all, which I supported heavily in federal recognition, I've seen nothing but just going, 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 going. And I see no end in sight. And I thank you on behalf of the county. So thank you all very much. And
much. Thank you, Chief. Good day. And thank you folks for being here. I yield back to uh, Kara and to you. <laughs> thank you, Chief Atkins. I appreciate it. Thank you to our officials who are here as well. And then Charles Chief. Um, we really appreciate all the support of the Indian Health Service. Thank you for being here. Um, I just wanted to let everybody know, so we're going to go ahead and if we can just have three or four at a time um, in each of the local units. And of course, I told you we have the plans here for the new uh, health clinic. Also, uh, please wear a mask when you're in the mobile units. If you don't have a mask, we have one that we can give you. Just come see us. And um, that. I'd like just a couple of closing remarks sure. from Wayne. I didn't ask him, but he's here. <laughs> <laughs> He, he, he's the one that keeps us on the straight and narrow regarding our finances. We don't want to get in trouble with Uncle Sam. No, we don't. I'd just like to express my thanks, too, for everybody who's led to this day and for the days that are coming ahead as we um, start building the clinic and providing services to our community. It's always been very important to us, and as uh, Mr. Cody said, it not only helps the Native community, but the surrounding community also. I'd like to thank everybody for being out here today and um, I'd like you to tour the mobile units. I'm looking forward to it because I haven't even seen them myself. So thank you all again for all your work and being here today. Again, thank you.